Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and this time around we have something very exciting for you. A brand new feature in SketchUp called Snaps. That's right, we just had an update release with SketchUp, and along with some new UI changes, we introduced a feature called Snaps, and these are user generated, user created control points that are useful with both move and rotate tools. It's pretty awesome. Let's have a look. Um, so if we look at, you know, just say these shelves, they look pretty standard, but if I edit one of these, there's a bunch of these dots or circles in here. And if we look at these, they're not even all connected to the geometry. They can be anywhere in space. These are snaps. I've created these to help with the placement of these shelves or with placing things on these shelves. We'll learn how to create them, but let's have a quick look at a few ways that you might use snaps. So let's say we're placing these in a room. So let's just create a, a simple room back here. I'm going to worry about exactly how big this is. Let's just have a, uh, something that we can place. And if I select any one of these uh, shelves, and then with the move tool, you can see those snaps appear. I've got on this one, these three. So I'm going to grab it by that point there and move a copy of it. Now back here, you can see that it's orienting to any surface, or I can just place it right here in the corner. Now, if I wanted to create, you know, more of these shelves lined up and I've got a couple sizes and variations here, we could do that, but we might need to zoom in to grab a corner, move it to a corner, such and such. Here, it's gonna be really easy. I'm just going to move any one of these. Let's just say grab this one, and I'm gonna grab it by that point. And then I've got this set up to snap right here. And then maybe we'll move this one to here. And maybe this one will move to here. You can see that it just accelerates the process of this type of assembly or moving pieces into place or adjacent to each other. And that's just because I happen to set these up this way. You can set them up however you want to be useful to you. I didn't have to zoom in. I don't have to, um, you know, be very meticulous about picking just a small point. It makes it so much easier. Here's another example. Sometimes something like this with all of these round shapes, we could assemble this if we were laying out you know, some pipes but it could be um, a little bit troublesome. So let's just move one of these back here. And in fact, just say, and we'll put it that configuration. Now we're gonna to start to build this out. I'm gonna put this one here, and let's say, let's move a copy of this over here, and this one here, and that needs to come over like that. And then we're gonna extend that further, let's say here. You can see how easy it is to start placing these and putting them correctly because these have snaps to simply align them together. So that makes that process so much better. Here's another example. Um, several months ago or some time ago, I showed this example of the rotate tool. And I was showing how when you have geometry that doesn't necessarily, you know, it'd be difficult to rotate this whole thing based on the base, that you can create these sort of help guides that were part of this. Well, that was useful, but now with snaps, let's say I come in and select these pieces and then I'm going to rotate them and here's a snap. And not only is that snap easy to find and planted correctly, but it's also aligned with the arm of this, you know, robotic arm. 
then I could say, well, let's just grab these, rotate these, here's another snap. And I'll grab these pieces and rotate them, and here's another snap, and again, it's lined up with the arm. It makes this whole process just much, <laughs> much better. So that's all well and good. It's very cool. Again, you can use snaps. You can have just a few of them like this, where I've created a snap on each side for lining these up with other shelves. And then back here on the base, in the middle, where this would line up with the wall. Or if you want to get more complicated, this one I put snaps on each shelf to make it simple to move, you know, picture frames and vases and things that you would put on the shelves. It's up to you, that's the beauty of it. So let's come back here. Let's make a few snaps. Snaps are embedded in your groups and components. So to make one, simply going to edit this group and then right click and say, make edit snaps. And then, and you can see this just orients anywhere. To make a snap is either two clicks or a double click. So let's just make one very quick here. I'm gonna double click. That's it, it made a snap. It has this um, rotation indicator, but if I close this group and make this a copy, now if I move this, see that dot shows up and I can start moving this around and snap it to this snap. Even some of those snaps back here, right? Very easy to make. So let's refine that a little bit. I can select this snap and delete it. Just hit delete on the keyboard, make edit snaps. This time I wanna be a little more precise. So I'm gonna hover over this midpoint, maybe put it right there in the center. And I could click once, and then you see it gives me an, the ability to sort of orient the snap in different ways. Typically, if you're on a surface like we were here, I would just double click. But if I click out here, it's created the similar snap that we had before. Now, we could continue to create these, of course. I'm just gonna double click, say here, and you see I put a snap in the wrong place. It's easy enough to select the snap and delete it. Now, when you're creating snaps, here's something to be aware of. And I've accidentally uh, created a snap back here. <laughs> I'll select that and delete it. When you're creating snaps, you can see that I've edited, I've put my snap right here one level deep. Well, you might say, well, these blocks, if I made them you know, smartly, they might be components, and they are. So why wouldn't we just embed that in the component? Here's the thing for now. Again, and, um, snaps are very cool, they'll be very useful, but this is a version one of snaps. And it turns out that if we, let me undo, let me just, copy and delete that snap, then I'll edit this and paste it. So I put it in here, it should be that, yep, that snap is in those components. But I've embedded it now two levels deep inside this um, group. Snaps don't necessarily work that well deeply embedded. And that's a feature that we know will be useful. It's something that we uh, hope to improve over time, but this is version one. And be aware that if you're gonna embed snaps deeply within nested groups or components, they don't work as well. You can see my snap is not sort of, it's still there, it still works, just not as well. So be aware of that and try to keep your snaps at a high level just on one level deep. Again, um, something that may improve over time. 
also it's worth mentioning that because snaps are a version one, um, you can look forward to seeing other improvements. We know there's a lot of things that um, can be improved and we want your feedback on that. We have plenty of our own ideas, but we want your feedback as well. Still, once you've created some snaps, let's look at how we can uh, manipulate them further. Now we can simply select, if I'm careful, I can select these snaps. And if I wanted to, I could sort of move them out, treat them a little bit like regular geometry. And that will allow me to, again, if I copy this and then put it back, it orients with any of these. Another way to manipulate snaps is if I right click and say make edit snaps. The first mode is creation mode of creating new snaps. But if we look down here in our tool hints, for me, I'm on a Mac, that'd be option key, it'd probably be the control key on a PC. If I hit that, it the uh, icon changes. So I can create new snaps, hit the um, control key on PC, option key on Mac, and I can just edit snaps and hit it again and I can erase just snaps. And this eraser only works on snaps. So there's a couple ways to edit your snaps once you've created them. If I go to here, uh, the edit mode, one of the things that's very important about how you create snaps is the front and back face. Well, what does that mean? See, these were all created with the front face out, but I'm going to, again, watch down here, when I'm editing, so creation, editing, I'm gonna hover over this snap and press the command key, again, on, uh, I'm on a Mac, so this will, uh, I think, be the alt key. And that snap is reversing. Each snap has a front face and a back face. So I'm gonna change that so now this is a, the back face is out. The reason that's important we look at this again this snap you know is front face out now this one is the back face is out snaps are going to orient to any geometry but if you're trying to do a snap to a snap it's going to go front face to front face or back face to back face so if i copy this and then snap here well that's front to front front to front this one, we changed it, is front to back. So you do need to be aware of the snap and whether the front or back face is pointing outwards or, you know, inwards. Again, it's your call. That's the beauty is you get to um, set it up how you want. Just be aware of that behavior. But if you want to align snaps to snaps, you want to try and get front face to front face. And again, to edit those, just gonna edit our little group here, make edit snaps. And I'm going to toggle through my different modes, and hover right over this and reverse it with a shortcut key. So again, pay attention down here to the uh, tool hints. So that is it. Um, one more thing while you're editing these, you can change the default rotation and this will be the default arm about which this snap will rotate so you can see i put this one inward and maybe we put this one inward and now if i go to the rotate tool and click on this it's going to have that arm based where uh, we oriented it so this one was facing inward and this one was facing upwards. All right, I think that's enough for now. What I'm gonna do is another skill builder that we'll push out um, next week. And 
we'll go a little more into editing and copying and manipulating snaps. This was just an introduction to what they are and how you can start using them. And hopefully you're as excited as I am about the possibilities this is gonna give us. Uh, I am excited for these. Again, I'm, I'm not trying to say they're, they're perfect at this point. We know that they're not. We know that there's some improvements that can be made. Also, this is a desktop feature. You can look forward to seeing it in our other versions of SketchUp, uh, web and iPad, but it's in this release, not there quite yet. So when that's coming, I do not know, um, but we want your feedback certainly uh, on what it is right now. And again, then the latest version of the desktop release of SketchUp. Very cool. Do leave us feedback here in the comments. Leave us feedback in the SketchUp forums. Let us know how we can improve snaps um, because we want to make this, uh, you know, absolutely a, a very valuable new feature. I think it already is, but, you know, keep going with that. So with that, let us know what you plan to do with snaps as well. Be curious because these are just a couple simple examples. Um, and we can't, we can't wait to, to get your feedback. Thanks, y'all. That'll do it for now. Again, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And let us know what you think. And we'll see you next time.